So a couple of weeks ago, I did a video providing tips on how to get the most out of the workout app on your Apple Watch. By far the most popular of these tips was the ability to start a workout with a simple tap of your watch face. Because it was so popular, I thought I'd create a separate video demonstrating exactly how I set that up, which is basically by creating a shortcut and adding it as a complication. It can be any of Apple's workouts, and a nice added bonus is that you can also have one of your Apple Music playlists start playing at the same time as your workout begins. Do stick around to the end of the video because I go through a few troubleshooting issues that I came across during the setup which you might also find useful. Okay, let's get started. So we'll begin by opening the Shortcuts app and clicking on the plus icon in the top right corner to create our new shortcut. Here you can name it something relevant, so I'll call mine My Open Run. It's worth noting that you can also activate your shortcut using Siri. If that's something you think you might use, I recommend keeping the name of your shortcut short and choosing something that Siri will easily understand. You can also change the icon associated with your shortcut, and since my workout is going for a run, I'll use the symbol of a person running. Now we want to add an action, so here we'll search for workout. And then we'll click on Start Workout to add it to our workflow. Then it's just a matter of selecting the type of workout you want to initiate. You can choose any of Apple's workouts, but unfortunately, custom workouts that you create yourself don't seem to show up here. Having chosen your workout, you then want to set your goal. Just as within the workout app, you can choose between time, distance, and calories burned. Since I tend to run varying distances over varying periods of time, I like to keep my goal open. And that's really it as far as the workflow goes. You can add further additional actions like switching on a focus mode during your run, but for this de demonstration, we'll keep it simple. Before clicking done, we want to make sure our new shortcut is available on our Apple Watch. And to do this, we click on the information icon in the menu and enable this option. When you're happy, click done and then done again. Having created our shortcut, we now simply need to add it to our Apple Watch by editing one of our watch faces. You can do this on the watch itself by long pressing on the watch face to customize it, but I find it much easier to navigate using the watch app on my iPhone. You can either create a new watch face or simply click on one of the existing ones to edit it and then scroll down to complications. Choose which complication you wish to use, and from the list of shortcuts, you should now see the one you created. Now, when I first tried this, my shortcut didn't show up in the list, and to fix this, I had to enable shortcuts in iCloud. Open the Settings app on your iPhone, click on your name, followed by iCloud, and then tap Show All. Make sure Shortcuts is enabled here. If your shortcut still doesn't show up in the list, restarting both your watch and your phone should do the trick. Finally, if you also want to add Apple Music to start playing automatically when you begin your workout, you can also do that in the Apple Watch app too. Firstly, download your playlist to the watch by opening the music settings and clicking on add music. Select your playlist or album and click on the plus icon. Now this can be a slow process and your music might only start downloading when your watch and iPhone have enough charge and of course they must be in range of each other for the whole time. Also sadly there is no option to add Spotify playlists, it just works for Apple Music. Once downloaded, switch over to Workout Settings and click on Workout Playlist and choose your music. And that should do it. If you tap the shortcut on your watch face, you should be prompted to run the shortcut and your workout will begin, hopefully with your chosen music soundtrack playing in the background. So that is how to start a workout from your watch face. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more useful tips and tricks. And you might also be interested in all my tips and tricks for using the workout app on your Apple Watch or popular subscriptions that you should never pay full price for. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.